what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to play Sega Dreamcast games on your jailbroken PS4 5.05 using the Linux OS also guys I've made other videos how to install Linux also how to install and play PS1 games PSP games and all of that stuff so if you guys are interested make sure that you read through the description okay so let's go ahead and get started okay so right here you wanna head over to the redream website and you wanna make sure that you create an account once you create an account go over to the compatibility um, list and you wanna check the game that it's compatible and playable before you go ahead and get that game okay so over here it shows the name of the game and over here it shows the status of the game okay once you found whichever game you want to play go ahead and click the download then go all the way down here and you want to click on this icon right here go ahead and click it and save it wherever you want to save it once you have your emulator downloaded put it on your USB stick my USB stick is formatted to FAT32 XFAT and FAT32 will work okay so anyone you want to use it will work just the same also you will need your game file and your game file should be in CDI GDI or CHD format okay those are the three format that the emulator support and as you can see right here I have Mortal Kombat Gold and the format is CDI format alright so once you have downloaded your redream um, emulator go ahead and right click go to extract redream click on the folder go to rename and you just want to rename it redream and that's it it makes things a lot easier this way go ahead and grab your game drop it in the redream folder we can delete this off our USB stick okay so I'm just gonna delete this from my USB stick okay so go inside the redream folder once you're inside that folder go ahead and right click and you want to create a new folder and I'm just gonna call this one um, DC games Dreamcast games okay so go ahead drag your game and drop it in that folder alright so let's head over to the PS4 now load Linux up you guys should know how to load Linux all the links will be in the description if you don't know how so make sure that you guys check it out also you will need your PS4 controller connected using the um, USB cable so let's go over to the PS4 now okay guys so Linux loads up on my PS4 um, you guys should know how to load Linux by now if you guys don't know how to install Linux or load it up make sure that you guys read through the description there are some links there that you guys can follow alright so let's head over to the menu icon right here and I'm just gonna click file manager and I'm gonna go to my USB stick right here and here is my redream folder I'm just gonna click on it and go down to copy then I'm gonna go to home folder go to download I'm gonna do it in the download folder you can do it on the desktop or you can do it in download the ROM folder doesn't work for this one so you can do it download or you can do it the uh, desktop folder but I'm gonna do download okay so my redream folder just finished copying over so you want to go ahead and enter it now once you enter the folder go ahead and copy this copy the entire thing go back over to your menu icon click terminal now go ahead and type CD space and you want to paste right there press enter on your keyboard now okay so once you have that go ahead and copy the redream name 
now go back here and right here we're going to do um, full stop forward slash we're going to paste press enter on your keyboard now and as you can see it says denied so we can do C H M O D space A plus X space full stop forward slash and you want to go ahead and paste the redream name right there again press enter and that's it now we can close this down now go ahead and double click on the redream click execute and here we go guys so now we can change this up a little bit you can go to system when you're in system you can choose um, the region of the the emulator or you can choose language you can choose the um, NTFS or PAL you can go to video you can set this to full screen so I'm gonna go and full screen it there you go it's full screen so you can also go to input and as you can see my PS4 controller has been detected I have it connected with the USB cable now go to game right here and you want to go to library click it click had library click home PS ITA go all the way down and you want to click on download redream DC games then go ahead and click it one more time and there you go right there there's our game so you can as I said you can go to input and you can configure your controller and everything right you can set up your controller all you want it so let's go ahead and try out the game there you go guys it's working perfectly fine okay so let's go ahead and go to um let's do practice let's see okay looks pretty good guys working perfectly fine as I said you guys can change the video quality out and everything but as you can see it's working perfectly so guys if this video helped you out please give it a like also share the video around guys and also you guys can subscribe for more video to come thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video Thank <laughs> you.